Another episode of Funky and the Champ. I'm fat. Jamal's like skinny fat. You got you like you. Like you're skinny fat. Take it back. Today I chose violence. I'm suing. <laughs> Sue them. I had to mute on for the fight. Sorry, Daniel. I did mute you. You guys are gonna be lifetime enemies because of the shit you say the moment you get a microphone in your face. Bro, you're crazy. Last bite. Last sip. <laughs> and Ben. I'm just Whoa. finishing. I'm just finishing my breakfast. Big boy gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? Big boy gotta eat. Did you get some protein for breakfast? I have some eggs, some potatoes, some bacon. But look at this shirt. It's it's very average at best. Cowboys football. Hey, dude, Shane Rollers kid signs with Missouri. What yeah, his is middle this? name is Tiger. His middle name's Tiger. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? I feel punched in the gut by one of my teammates. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I love ben, it. Dude, I just finished breakfast. What about you? Did you have breakfast? I went, I went on a little breakfast day with my wife. So my uh, my youngest, Ozzy's in kindergarten, so all the kids are at the house. So me and my wife get a little more uh, time together now. Well, she went, you taking her to breakfast because of that one time you made that statement online. That's why <laughs> she's got That's my why. back on that you one. You still trying to you still trying to come back from that. This dude oh, taking forever to come back from that. We're doing ben, great. We're doing great. <laughs> first off, before we get to uh why we're here, I know I just want to say I feel for you. Guys, this weekend I'm traveling all around the world. I get a text message from Ben Askren and he goes, can you believe our basketball team got fourth? And I was blown away. I couldn't believe Ben was so hurt. What are you talking about? The US about? basketball team getting fourth at the World Cup. Ben, I know you love basketball. <laughs> I know you feel <laughs> bad for the boys, but it's okay. We will be fine. Daniel, don't make me start telling a story about how 2008 Olympics, you were so shy. And you're like, hey, Ben, can you ask <laughs> Can you ask uh, Jason Kidd if we can get a picture together? I'm like, I don't know that dude, but I'll go ask him. <laughs> and you did and i got my picture ben <sighs> ufc 293 was last weekend dog i know it's wednesday a lot has been made about sean strickland and the biggest upset of all time but what did you make of saturday night and yeah all the things that went into it and and the the kickback from it well, I, so I don't think this one tops Holly Holm over Ronda Rousey as the biggest upset of all time. And I think from a betting standpoint, that that's that pencils also also on Australia. Um, I, I, I would look foolish, which happens sometimes because I said, I don't see how Sean Strickland's going to win because I thought Sean Strickland was going to do what Sean Strickland did, which is try to walk him down and box him up. And I thought there's no way he's going to do that for 25 minutes. Without getting clipped, because Izzy's got a lot of weapons. So the fact that he was able to do it for 25 minutes straight and not get clipped was so impressive. No, nothing hit him. Nothing. He really did outclass Adesanya, right? He really did. It was it was so impressive because, you know, Izzy's tricky. He's fast. He's got a lot of tools. And Strickland shut everything down. Dude, Adesanya is a guy that has tremendous counter-striking, and none of it worked against Sean Strickland. Here's my question for you, though. We have talked about this fight time and time again, and I've done it on a number of different platforms. But my thought was, what did you make of Edesanya at the post-fight press conference where he says he's leaving, he's going to go talk to the people that matter with him, and then have Eugene Behrman do the press conference, and Eugene Behrman was almost bullish in regards to they want a rematch, they want it tomorrow. Izzy didn't seem to be as pressing on that. Izzy just seemed to want to get out of there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what to make of that because Adesanya is a guy who's ad- avenged, you know, he avenges Pereira loss. So it's not like it's nothing he's ever done before. So he can go do it. Um, I don't know that. And I don't, Dana said he'll get a rematch with Dana. You know, Dana sometimes changes his mind from what he says during the yeah. post fight press conference. But, um, I think I think Chimaya versus uh, Costa should be the number one contender. Because so what I, happened I, to Drakus? What happened to Drakus? Oh, he was the man. He, he disappeared. But, He's in South Africa. We so it's over now. That. 
So who? So 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 you're telling me that Drake is Duplessis by not fighting, just completely fucked himself. Like that's, now he's out. That's what happened. Yes, we forget about people when they do that. So uh, <laughs> if they gave it to him, I wouldn't hate it. It wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Um, but I think Costa and Shamayev is going to be a good number one contenders. And man, when you get beat four rounds to one, it's not like he got clipped, right? If he would got clipped and we got stopped in the first, I would say run it back, right? He got hit one time. It happens. Run it back. But you got beat for 25 minutes i think you probably need to take a little break and maybe get a tune up and then come back and do it again you know when you look at what sean strickland did it was tremendous right it was an amazing thing and then the next day he posts a picture of him he broke his ufc belt what's even more crazy is that behind him is 50 aka guns (laughs) right is that not crazy uh i that uh if you said hey ben what does Sean Strickland's apartment look like? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good guess. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think that's if you gave me like multiple choice, said this one, this one, uh, that one, that one. You would have sure. picked that one for sure yes. off the wall. Like, absolutely, that's what it looks yes. like. But, bro, 100%. why does Drake is why, why does so was Saturday night more about Edisanya and what he didn't do, or was it more about what Sean Strickland did? Because there's yeah. this idea out there in the world right now that everybody thinks it was Izzy didn't fight his fight. Izzy didn't fight. Well, it seems like people want to almost take away from the accomplishment yeah. of Sean Strickland. But when you watched it, is that what you felt? Was it more, well, Izzy's not himself, or was it more Sean Strickland? Yeah, I think it's a combination of both of them. And, right, It doesn't have to be all the way one or all the way the other. I think Sean Strickland fought a great fight, and maybe... And I don't know how Izzy wouldn't have been prepared for that style. Because if you, if you said, Ben, what's what's he going to do? He's going to try to walk him down and box him. That's what he's going to try to do. He, he, he said he did wrestling in camp, but I cannot foresee Sean Strickland wrestling him. That just wasn't, you know, it wasn't in something I thought was going to happen. So I think Strickland executed, and maybe Izzy had an off night. I, I You know, I think it could have been a little bit of both. Um, but yes, I think people who don't like Sean Strickland are trying to take credit away from him. And they should be saying... People were calling Adesanya one of the greatest strikers in UFC history. And this man didn't try one takedown in 25 minutes. He walked him down for 25 minutes Dude. straight and didn't get hit. Think about that. Ben, in hindsight, is it unfair? And I, I'm guilty of this. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm so guilty of this. Is it unfair that we immediately rush to comparison? Because I started calling Izzy the greatest middleweight of all yeah. time. Yeah. After yeah. going into last weekend. Is it unfair to Anderson Silva that people yes. rush to comparison when it comes to the next great guy? Just like when Kamaru Usman was the man, people rush to compare him to George St. Pierre as the greatest yeah. welterweight of all time. Are we as MMA fans wrong for doing that? I think that I think that's what all fans like to do. I mean, I see I see it in wrestling also, right? So I, I think that's just something fans like to do. When one person's on top, you say, well, how did this rain compare with this rain? Um, and MMA fans, uh, it's this thing, you know, MMA is still gaining a lot of steam. So you're getting a whole bunch of new fans who they mm-hmm. weren't fans when Anderson was doing Anderson's thing. And unfortunately for Anderson, this gets counted against him, which I don't think it should. Um, if you look at his rate, he, he was a champ for seven years. <laughs> That's, That's it's, crazy. It's wild. Like it's like 13 fights. And actually he bumped up to 205 three times. And it's crazy. All three of the times he bumped up, the guys popped for some type of steroids. So he went up and beat them all up, even though they were, they were juicing. Um, and then obviously once he lost it, he, he definitely took a step down. Right. And he lost kind of a handful of times and people count that against him. But when you think about Anderson's win, seven years without losing yeah. it's Dude. insane has seven years without losing even when you're just getting started is hard seven yeah. years without losing when you're fighting the best in the On world the top. is impossible right yes. and that's one of those oh my god bro i used your john jones argument on someone the other day i was you know who i was talking to i was talking Ooh. to ari emmanuel and ari emmanuel yeah. was talking to me about john jones and how he has been able to sustain this run at the top for so yeah. long and I told him what you told me about the time that he's been Seven out. Years. And he mind blown. His mind was blown at how much time he's actually missed inside the octagon. <laughs> he, I, was, just he was probably calculating the amount of money he lost. He's like, yeah, like, dude. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, I could have had him fight a lot of money more times. 
But bro, mind blown. Yo, I was like, I was yesterday with this dude, like just taking all y'all's takes. Your takes, Ryan's takes. They were all my takes because they're all new to these guys, right? Yeah. Everything you've ever said smart, I've used in a conversation <laughs> with someone else. That was one of them that happened well, yesterday. Let me say one more smart thing, though. The other thing about Arison Silva's reign that people, you know, they discount because he lost at the end. But they also, there's this thing like once he beat these dudes up, they kind of were like, eh, that guy wasn't that good anyways. But it's like when when he killed Rich Franklin that first time, people were like, wait, Rich Franklin's the man. Then he beat up Lieben. Like Chris Lieben was the man. He killed Chris Lieben. He killed Chris Lieben. And then he beats up Dan Harrison when Dan Harrison was like a double pride champion, right? Yep. And then he beat up Damian Maya and nailed they Chael Sonnen and then Vitor Belfort. But that was when Vitor was like uber steroid Vitor just freaking. <laughs> I mean, like this dude beat up a lot of really good dudes. Yeah, he did. Yeah. His, his resume should always stand the test of time. But yeah. I don't believe that the comparisons came from what Anderson didn't do as much as what Izzy was doing, right? I don't yeah. think it was – and plus, like, as time goes on, as you're learning everything, the athletes, the competition, everything gets better. And I yeah. think what they were saying was, well, Edesanya is beating these great guys at a time where MMA at a, as a level has never been higher. Yeah. Because yeah. if you think about Robert Whitaker, for a long time, he only lost to Edesanya. He had the belt for eight years. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because he's beating everybody else. So it was like, I think it was more that opposed to what Anderson didn't do to make people think a certain way. Do you yeah. think that, do you think Drake is, because I I was talking to someone very close to him, and they were of the belief that, and this is one of the people that thought that it was more about what Edisonia didn't do. They were of the belief that Drake is Duplessis would have beaten is he on that night? Of course, they're gonna say that. Because, why? Because no, I'm saying because you, you think no because What's they think that he didn't fight guy. great. But they they didn't. But they say he didn't fight great. Even you know even Dana. Sure. Dana went up there and said immediately he goes he looks slow. He looks flat. He didn't look like himself. He said that at the post fight presser. Yeah, I mean you know the other thing. Um, I yeah, I mean so yes, I I Drake is this guy. Of course, they're gonna say that. Um. <laughs> And, you know, the other thing maybe we're discounting, and I mean, it, this would go in with what Strickland was able to do, but when someone puts that much pressure on you, it is wearing. Like, just think about wrestling, the oh. same thing. If you're able to put pressure on someone, you become less effective. So when they say, you know, Izzy was less effective, well, maybe it was due to the fact that Strickland put so much pressure on him. And by the time he was mm-hmm. 10 minutes into the fight, he was moving constantly. I mean, if you watch the fight, he was constantly moving. He like, was running constantly. Yes, constantly. And that's exhausting. And so maybe we're, you know, you were Dana and others are also discounting that fact. That's like, dude, when you when you make someone work that hard, yeah, they're gonna be yeah. less effective. For it's sure. Fucking exhausting. But exhausting. I gotta be honest, bro. Like for me, it's almost it's hard to watch because I do believe that it was Sean Strickland. I, I don't think it was as much as yeah, he wasn't I himself. Agree as it was Sean Strickland and his ability to make him fight a fight that he is completely uncomfortable with. Yeah. Like there was no part of Edesanya that was comfortable in that situation. Now yeah. Edesanya is a guy that will take motivation from people doubting him. Yeah. We are not doubting him. You and I, we are just saying that on that night, he fought a better guy, yeah. but I tell you, it will serve as motivation for him yeah. because that's what he do. That's what he does. Right. Some of these guys love to yeah. have the ability to go back and go, you doubted me, I'm going to prove you wrong. And I think that will serve him well down the line. But down the line, I do not believe that he should start fighting right back trying to prove yes. that he needs to get back in there and win the championship. Because for as bullish as his coach was, and Eugene Behrman is a phenomenal coach, Yep, I don't think that Izzy should be trying to get back in there right now. I think he needs a little bit of time to rest. And yep. I think Sean Strickland moves on to something next. And Sean Strickland, dude, he's just as busy, right? That's something yes, that's lost in the A couple months ago. Yeah, it, he's just as busy as Israel Adesanya and got this fight on about two months' notice, maybe, right? So it's not like he knew for a long time that he was fighting Israel Adesanya. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Um, the style that Strickland employs, it, it, it's it unique, right? Because he's more upright. Um, yep. It's kind of funny because he, he's really upright. 
uh, but he does pretty much just boxing, like minimal kicking, you know? Um, and you know what? The calf kick in the beginning, it was unique. No one was doing it, you know? And that was part of the reason why I was effective, but it also kind of worked too. And then once people saw it worked, everyone's doing it. Do you think other people will employ this more upright Sean Strickland style? Um, I, I think I do. I do. Yeah. I think more people are going to use it. Um, yeah. It was really effective at checking the kicks. I mean, that was one Very thing. Also, he get, it, you know, because if Sean Strickland gets kicked 10 times, that fight's different, right? But because Absolutely. he was so effectively de defect, uh, defending all the kicks, he never took that damage, and he was able to just keep marching him down. Because you think someone marching you down, like, you know, a great example of this would be uh, Diaz-McGregor too. Right? Yeah, it's the exhausting. first one, Diaz walked him down. McGregor got exhausted. The second one, Nate could barely walk because Connor kicked him so many. Connor times. kicked him so much, so but many. Izzy could Izzy couldn't get anything going on Sean because yeah. Sean never let off the pressure. Guys, Absolutely. the Game Time app is the worldwide leader in last minute ticket purchases. So no matter what you're trying to do, NFL, NBA, UFC, comedy shows, or concerts, use the Game Time app to save money. And if that's not enough, use my promo code DCTV. For twenty dollars off your first purchase, so download the Game Time app today and start to save money. Use my promo code to save even more. So use that Game Time app and save money. Like I tell you time and time again, I use it. Ben, before I let you go, two quick things. For Drake is Duplessis, right? Sometimes you got to take your shot when it's 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 yes. your chance because, like you said, you forgot about him, bro. It's amazing that when I left that arena on Saturday night. I wasn't even thinking about Drakus anymore <laughs> because now I had pivoted and now I was thinking, oh my goodness, if Hamza Chamaya fights amazing and beats Paulo Costa, that dude's going to get a title shot. For sure. That's what happens. This is what happens in fighting. And this is why you got to strike when the iron's hot because sometimes it's just about taking that opportunity. And I don't know what's up with Drakus. I don't know why he didn't take the opportunity, but now he's probably thinking like, Damn, I wish I would have been there Saturday night. He's like, I fucked myself. And the reality yeah. is this, him and Izzy have such a bad rivalry. They may try to make him fight and not for the belt. Oh, that'd be kind of fun. Let's do that. <laughs> what, three yeah. rounds? Yeah, let's do it. Dude, you're crazy. Main event. Hey, lastly, <laughs> speaking of Hamza Chamaya, Sean Strickland trained with Hamza Chamaya a while ago. And after the training session, Sean said, okay, you're better than everybody. Now don't hurt people. <laughs> can you so believe that? I'm trying to hurt people? Well, I, I don't know. I th So there's a lot you can read into that, right? You can read into that like, well, Hamza was trying to destroy everybody in the gym. And Sean's yeah. like, okay, dude, we get it. You're the best. Yeah. Don't hurt nobody in training. Yeah. Or it's like Sean training with them and recognizing and realizing like, holy shit, this dude is next level. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do yeah. you what do you what do you make of that? Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I probably want to listen to Strong Shuklin talk a little more about it so I could see exactly what he meant. Um, because I don't know you. Well, you you lived in a gym forever, like me too. Every once in a while, you get one of those dudes that tries to go with lower level people and they just try to smash them. And it's like <laughs> that's not cool. That's not cool. Like, no, well, Sean Strickland be smashing lower fun. level dudes. They got that videos of him knocking people out. Oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> oh, that was bad. You're right. So yeah, so I guess if Sean Strickland's giving this advice, it's probably not good, dude. But it's, but then also sometimes you have guys that are just really good in practice. Like Tyrone yeah. Lewis was the yeah. greatest practice wrestler I've ever wrestled, and then you just kind of beat him. Yeah, as he did he ever beat you? No, I was five and zero. Oh. Jesus Christ, ah. that's so crazy because if you guys practice together, he would have teched you. Come on. It, it, dude, I'm, I'm telling ready. you. I'll it, go practice right now. I see Tyrone that, once in a while. It was that much of a difference in regards to Tyrone really? competition. So he would just show people in practice. Bro, it was crazy. Pendleton couldn't go within seven points of him in the practice room. Stop. Seven. I'm serious. You're in Bella. Seven. I'm promising you he could not wrestle him in the practice room. Some guys are just like that. So, but, but but my thing is, when Hamzat sees this, I wonder if that's going to be one of those moments looking back where Sean Strickland goes, fuck, man, I shouldn't have said anything, right? Because now it's out there where Hamzat goes, if I can beat Paul Costa, I'm definitely wanting to fight yeah. Sean Strickland because I know he holds me in such high regard.
Yeah. But I mean, and Shmaev's right there where one more win, he should be getting a title shot. And, you know, sometimes it's a timing thing. Sometimes it's a, you got to take your shot when you get it. Like we were talking about Drakus. But uh, Shmaev's right there where, you know, he's he's within probably one win of a title shot tops. Yeah. But what if that Paulo Costa that showed up to fight Yoel Romero shows up? Oh, he yeah. might be in trouble because that dude that fought Yoel Romero. And even the, even the Rockhold fight, Costa looked good. Even the Rock, well, until he got tired, but that was in Utah. That was so in They Utah. both got tired, though, because they fought hard. This is what some people did. If you fight hard, you get tired. That's just yeah. what happens. Like, if you go hard, <laughs> you get tired. Those dudes went hard. They went so hard. They did go hard. They didn't like each other, and they didn't try to hold back yes. uh, their emotions. And in fighting, you just got to get a little less tired than the other guy, and then you're golden. Bro, that's why, like, at heavyweight, and me and, like, <laughs> me and Kane did that. We used our cardio as our biggest weapon. Yeah. We knew that they would get more tired than us, so we just went harder than them. And then guys <laughs> would just get tired. Like, it was the craziest thing in the world. <laughs> so ben, true. you are the man, bro. Hey. Enjoy that extra time you get to spend with your wife. Take her on <laughs> dates. Keep apologizing, bro. Keep apologizing. I'm not apologizing. I never bro, had to apologize. Bro, keep apologizing for disrespecting that beautiful lady, Amy. <laughs> hey, until next time, my brother. Guys, like, subscribe. Tap into everything Ben's doing. Ben's doing this. He's also doing something called FRL on Flow Wrestling's Damn YouTube it. channel. This guy does a lot of stuff for the wrestling community. Until next time, peace. See ya.